Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. My name is Ksenia and I make videos for people who, like myself, are going through the family-based immigration process. I'm not an immigration attorney. My videos are based on publicly available information, my own experience and the experience of my subscribers. The purpose of my channel is to give you guys the confidence to go through this process completely on your own. I quickly wanted to talk about when is the best time to send the medical exam. This video is specifically related to those of you who are applying for adjustment of status from inside the United States. For people who are going through the consular process, it's a little bit more straightforward. You will be getting it done right before the green card interview. The medical office will directly send your uh, 693 form to immigration prior to your interview. However, when it comes to people who are applying from inside the United States, there seems to be a lot of confusion. The medical exam is generally attached to your I-485 application. If you know that you are eligible to adjust your status right now with your I-485, you can send in your medical exam either with your I-485 application in the very beginning, or you can choose not to send it right away and wait until your green card interview to bring your medical exam with you. If you get it done before you send in your I-485 application, it will only be valid for 60 days after they sign it. So you want to make sure that you will be sending in your adjustment of status application within that 60 day window after the medical is signed. However, if you have already submitted your adjustment of status application, technically uh, you can go ahead and get your medical exam done at any time after your application is submitted and it should be valid for about two years, as long as it remains in a sealed, envelope that you will receive from the doctor's office. So this is what it says on paper and on the USCIS site. However, I'm here to share with you guys the reality of it all and what my subscribers have been sharing with me. Even though people who do choose to send it uh, with the adjustment of status application and they follow all the directions, they follow the timelines and they send in the medical exam within the 60 day window, unfortunately, they still receive the I-693 deficiency notice. And this notice is very common to people who are sending adjustment of status application, which will state that your medical exam is missing from your file. However, it's not a big deal. Bring it to the interview. Now, we have been noticing that even those applicants that send in their medical exam with the I-485 application, Unfortunately, they still receive those deficiency notices in case there is ever an issue with your file and it is rejected and returned back to you, you will notice that your medical exam will probably be opened, unsealed, or missing from your file entirely. I recently just uh, re-uploaded a video talking about what to do when your file is rejected and returned back to you, how to resubmit it. But one of the most common issues that we are also seeing is that even though the file is rejected due to maybe an error in payment or maybe your card didn't go through, something like that, in majority of the cases, the medical exam is either unsealed or it's missing and is probably destroyed by USCIS. That is another reason why you don't want to send it in right away is because now you either have to go and beg the immigration doctor to reseal your medical envelope, which in some cases they may be able to do that, but in a lot of cases they just want your money again and they will have you go through the entire process again. So you have to pay one more time for the medical. Based on everything that I'm seeing, the best time to get your medical exam done is as soon as you receive your green card interview invitation. Typically, the interview invitation comes about one month before your scheduled interview. In some cases, such as parent petition, or maybe in some work-related visa uh, categories, if it's the case that your green card interview is waived, USCIS will send you a request, typically in the same letter that states that your interview is waived. They will send a request asking for you to send in the medical exam. And again, you will have a window of time to get it done and send it to USCIS. I hope that this video was useful for you 
you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up so more people can see it so we can help more people and i hope to see you in my next video bye